Hi, I'm Linda from Barlati's Body Bliss. Welcome to No Excuses Mat. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat or even just a carpeted floor. So there's no excuses about the equipment and no excuses about time because we'll be trying to get it all done within 15 to 20 minutes. Depending on how many reps I decide to do each exercise, might draw it out towards the 20 minute mark. Now we're gonna get started straight away with some push-ups. There will be a few exercises in here which you may find too challenging, and I'll show you some modifications along the way. So with any push-ups whatsoever, you can definitely do them on your knees, or you can even elevate your arms, which will make it a lot easier. In which case you might want to use a step bench or maybe your sofa, or you can even do it against the wall. So the first set of push-ups, we're going to get started in a staggered position. So I want one of your arms in close to your side and the other arm a little bit further out. And then just test it so that when you come into this push-up position, your arm is in line with your shoulder there, not out in front, not too far out, but in line. And from here, what we're going to do is come up on our toes if you can. If you can't, then stay on your knees for the entire time. We're gonna come up on our toes. We're gonna make sure that we're in alignment. We're gonna come down. Then we're all gonna drop our knees and we're gonna push back up, okay? So that's the exercise. We're gonna come up. We're gonna keep our body in alignment. We're gonna drop our knees and push up. We're going to come straight into that plank. Come down, down and up. And you might not be able to come down as far. You might be here and that's fine, okay? So you choose your level. Try very much to look in front of you once you see the exercise and keep your neck in nice alignment with your spine. Now the other trick to make this even easier is to bring your knees in closer and you might just be going down and up, exactly like this. Down and up, okay? Or you might be going down and up with your knees a little bit further out, but never on your toes. A last one here, down, knees, and up. Nice job, you might wanna come back into a child's pose for a second. Deep breath in. Now on the same side, we're coming down into a side-lying position. I want one hand in front of your chest, and this arm that we had close in comes almost like an L shape. So now you're gonna to have to bring it quite close to your shoulder, we're gonna extend our back leg. What we're going to do is extend the leg, then push our body up, push up off the mat with that bottom leg and come up. So ex extend it, push up and glute raise. Extend, push up and glute raise. If you can't do the push up, then just come up here and do a little glute raise but I want you to really think about pushing up the upper body using your hands. That's the main focus here. The lower body is a bonus, okay? So make sure you're positioned right, your hands are close. You push your body up and come up into that glute raise and you are turning your chest towards the floor, but your hips up, okay? So this should be hard, especially on this front arm here. Okay, push up and up and come back down. Really get take advantage of that glute raise there by bringing the leg up high and back down. How about two more? Push it up and up. And this is the last one. Glute raise, push it up and up. Nice job. Guess what? We're doing exactly the same thing to the other side. So now the other arm comes in close to your body. The other one is slightly in front. You're coming up onto your toes if you're doing it with me. You're coming down, knees drop, push up, back to plank, down, knees drop, push up, back to plank. So this is a tricep push up for this front arm, right? Now look in front of you and keep nice alignment in your neck. It's down, knees drop and up. Now, if you don't want to lift your knees, stay down here. Down and up, but make sure you go deep here. Down and up and remember your option. All the way in with the knees makes it much, much easier. Down and up, but if you're with me, two more. Down, drop the knees and up. 
This is the last time. Down, drop the knees, push up. So the back of the arm here should be burning, right? So now we come into that side lying position. Line yourself up, one hand this way, one hand that way, close in. Then you're gonna roll slightly back and you're gonna do that glute raise. Then remember, you're gonna use this foot. So it's glute raise, push up with the upper body, glute raise, come back down. So angle that leg to the back and you can help yourself up a little bit using the top leg on the ground there. So here, use your toe to push up slightly. But really, I would like you to, as much as possible, use your upper body to get up. If you can't do that, remember it's down here. Push up, tiny lift. Back down, up big. Push up, up little. Back down, up big. If you're with me, all the way up. Two more. Push up, back down. This is the last one, all the way up and back down. Awesome job. We're going to come into a glute bridge exercise now. So lying all the way down on your back, your tummy's in, your tailbone is going to be tucked. So your hip bones are going to tuck towards your ribs. Then you're going to lift up, okay? You're going to squeeze your butt cheeks. Your hands can be by your side. I want you to. Come up onto your toe of the back foot, and as you do that, shoot the other leg towards you. So you're changing sides, up on the toe, extend the other leg and bring it in towards you. So it's up and in, up and in. Now if the toe thing is putting you off, just do it flat footed, up and in. But if you can, Try to get up high on those toes and breathe out as that leg comes in. So you should feel a dynamic stretch through the back of your thigh, all the way up, all the way up. Now if this is too much, you're here and you're just bringing it up here or if that's even too much, bend the leg. Okay, and just keep your bum off a little bit. Four more and three. And two, and one. Now, same thing, up on the heel, sorry, on the toe of the back leg. We're gonna tuck our hip to the side on an angle. One, and two. Then we're gonna paddle our heels for three. Now this heel is up. One, and two. One, two, three. Tuck, and tuck. One, two, three. So you're pushing that hip towards the corner. Push it towards the corner. One, two, three. Tuck and tuck, blowing the air out as that hip comes up. One, two, three. Come on, really squeeze your glutes. That's going to help you keep those hip, hips high. One, two, three. And again, if this is too much, do it flat footed. One, two, three. Four more, tuck and tuck, switch, two, three. If you need to adjust, adjust. Switch, two, three, just two more. Tuck and tuck, switch, two, three. Last one on this side, switch, two, three. Come down and up, down and up. Just a few of these, down with your hips and then up into releve, up onto your toes. Four more, and three, and two, and one, so if you did this right, you would have felt some inner thigh work there, right? Now we're going to front of thigh. We're going to come into a bear crawl position. So you're in an all fours position. Your toes are turned under and you're going to hover your knees. From here, we want quite a narrow stance and we're just gonna tap, tap. So we're gonna wiggle our hips and tap our knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now I want you to come flat footed. Same thing, lift up and tap, tap, wiggle those hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now back up on the toes, this time we want knees in and out. 
in and out, in and out. Come on, try, try to do this. Six, five, four, this one's hard. Three, two, one, same thing. Toes are down this time, up on those hands and knees in and out, in and out. Come on, we're trying to stretch the front of our feet. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, come back into child's pose for a second. Deep breath in and out. Now we're just gonna combine that, okay? We're going to do two on our toes, two on our front of foot. So come back up with the balls of your foot. We're gonna go one and two. Then switch it, one and two. Back on the balls, one and two. Switch it, one and two. Just two more sets on the balls of your feet. One and two. Switch it, one and two. Last time, balls of your feet, tap. And if you can't come all the way down, it's fine. And full foot and one. Awesome job. Back into child's pose. That one's tough for the front of the thighs. If you couldn't do all the reps, that's totally fine. You can work your way up to it. Nice job. Okay, let's move on to some abs. So I want you to lie back down into a side lying position and I want you to put your feet diagonal. So not directly in line, but slightly in front. Make sure you really push out of this shoulder. You're going to be kind of rolling back slightly onto your bottom bum cheek. Then we wanna bend our legs in. Now I'm gonna try and keep my legs off the ground the entire time. If you can't do that, you can anchor your feet. Now we're going to put our hand by our ear and we're gonna start bringing our elbow to the inside, our elbow to the outside. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Now remember to keep that angled position and really extend your legs and twist through your upper body. We're gonna build a combination of these singles as well as doing some doubles. So four more and three and two and one. Now extend, we're gonna come all the way in. We're going to come all the way in. So tap the front leg, tap the back leg, tap the front leg, tap the back leg. If this is too hard, just do one leg. Okay, like this. So two more, and in, and last one, in, and in. Take a break if you need to. Make sure your alignment is still perfect. We're gonna do that combination. We're gonna do two doubles. So it's one to the front, one to the back. Now split it and split it. Again, doubles. One to the front, one to the back. Split it, split it, split it. Come on, doubles. We're not doing many, I know this is tough. One to the back, split it, and split it last time. One to the front, one to the back. Split it, and split it. Awesome job. Same thing other side. See, I'm not repping you to death today, and I'm also giving you more side swaps. So you're not gonna be having an excuse saying this is just too hard for me. You can do some of it, right? Legs at an angle, hand by the ear, we're gonna start with our legs slightly elevated, inside, outside, inside, outside. So you're twisting your body and actually making contact with your knee each time, inside, outside of the thigh. Come on. You're extending the other leg strong and long, pointing the toe, making it look pretty, blowing out all the air as you bring the knee in, in and in, in and in. How about three more and two and last one. Now both legs, so both legs tap that side, both legs tap this side. So it's front leg and back leg. And if you can't do this, then just keep going like this. Okay, that's an option. And it's a good option because it's tough. Okay, this is a hard exercise. So it's okay to modify back leg, 
front leg, back leg, three more. Blow out as the legs come in. If you can't make contact each time, that's fine. Just come to your closest point. Last time front, last time back. Take a break for a second, combination. So we're gonna do the front leg, back leg, both sides. Then we're gonna alternate, okay? So it's front and it's back and it's split and it's split. It's front and back, split and split. Front and back, split and split. Come on, you can do it. We're nearly done with this. And back, split and split. Two more sets. Front and back, split and split. Last set. And back and split it and split it. Nice job. Did you feel that in your obliques here? That's what it was for. Last exercise, people. I know we're going a little bit longer, but we're going to get this done. Come into this butterfly position where your feet are together and your knees are dropped to the side. We're gonna have our hands overhead. We're gonna roll up, deep breath in, roll it up, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. Then we're gonna start lifting the legs. If you can't lift the legs, just do that roll up. If you can't even do that, then maybe you're just doing crunches here, okay? So this is the exercise. Roll up and lift the front leg. Roll down. Roll up and lift the back leg. Roll down. Can you do both legs? Roll down. It's front and roll and back. And roll and both. Roll down. Do a version of it. Make it your own, but make it challenging. If you can't do both legs like this, then either do front leg, back leg again, or just keep it grounded. Try not to use momentum. I know it's tempting. This is your last exercise, so please do something, even if you're just doing crunches. Just keep moving for a few more seconds, and then we're done. Back and up. How about two more sets? Front and back and both. This is the last set. Front and back and both. Guess what? I'm not giving you any more bonus holds. So you're down on the floor and we're just going to stretch it out. Cross your leg over. Bring that knee in. Deep breath in. So we didn't do any jumping. We didn't use any heavy weights, but we got a pretty much a total body workout. Bring that leg straight and stretch the hamstring. So no excuses, right? You can do something. And I understand that my workouts can be quite advanced at times, and that's okay. You just do what you can. Cross the other leg over, maybe hug it in, maybe push your knee away. You just do your level. You slow down the pace, you do less reps, you take breaks when you need to, it's totally fine. Just keep going and keep moving and you will see results, you will get stronger. Now come up, just sit cross-legged for me. We're gonna interlace the fingers overhead, side to side. We did quite a bit of oblique work today. Arms to the sides and interlace at the back and pull up. Deep breath in. Then just put your hand on your opposite knee. Rotate to the back. Other side. And one final stretch. Soles of the feet together. And then just slightly push down to open up through the inner thighs. And that is it. Thanks for joining me for No Excuses Mat Workout. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next workout.